Hello everyone, this is Chef Good Choice. Today, I'm gonna do some interesting experiment with most common fish, salmon, which is famous about oily but tender texture with rich flavor and in the same family with trout. Everyone knows salmon, right? And also, I love sushi and sashimi, but do you know that there's so easy way to make salmon much tastier, even doesn't cost much? Which is curing the salmon. Of course, not the normal way you think like making grab legs. I'm talking about kombujime and also known as kobujime. Oh, what is kombujime? Let me explain about the name first. Kombujime is Japanese word. Kombu is a sea kelp and jime means titan. So simply, it means wrap tight in the sea kelp. By the way, kombujime is actually Japanese traditional preserving technique that wrapping fish in the sea kelp. So fish can last longer than usual. It was useful when there was no fridge invented yet. But not just for last longer, also it improved the flavor and aroma much better because sea kelp wrap absorbs the water from the fish so umami flavor in the fish will be more condensed umami <laughs> what <laughs> no i said umami. umami umami is the flavor <laughs> Also sorted from the sea kelp, seasoned the fish nicely, so original flavor got richer than just fresh one. How to do it? It is so easy. All you need is salmon of course, or other fish, sea kelp, and cooking sake. It's not sake, it's sake. Oh for f sakes. That's all. So first, put sea kelp on the clean chopping board. And why with the sake? The reason why I do this to give nice aroma to fish but also sanitize outside of sea kelp because it's gonna touch a raw fish no cross-contamination and put fish on and wrap nicely make sure you cover everywhere of fish and cling wrap it one more time and leave it in the fridge overnight to one day or sometime two days that's all wrap and wrap actually I'm good wrapper but when I'm thinking about sea kelp and Umami? It reminds me something. MSG. If you have watched my MSG video, you should know that the world first MSG is from sea kelp. Which is MSG from sea kelp stock. Full of umami flavor. Full of umami flavor. So I decided to cure one more salmon with MSG. Just dust salmon with lots of MSG. and leave it in the fridge overnight to two days. But it's MSG, best seasoning powder, not for me. So I prepare one more experiment here. If you watch my MSG video, you also should know about Tashita. The seasoning called Tashita. The Korean seasoning with MSG plus 20 more ingredients. Soy sauce, garlic, onion. This is true best seasoning. And I'm using anchovy flavor. Same way as MSG. And let's see what's gonna happen. So after one and a half day, I open the salmon one by one. First, kombujime. Oh, you can see the color of fresh become more lighter pink. And it's a bit slimy on the surface. Ah, oh, don't worry. This is not off. It is slime from sea kelp. And next, I message you. Looks darker and firmer than kombujime. It is not easy to get rid of all the MSG powder anyway. So I have to wash it. The dashita one. Wow, the color is a bit darker than MSG. Like color of powder. And slice each salmon. And place on the plate. Nicely. So finally, three different salmons are ready. Sea kelp, kombujime, MSG, and anchovy dashita. So, let's try. Also, I will check three different points from each salmon. Texture, taste, and aroma. First, sea kelp, kombujime. Mmm. Mmm. So nice. So nice. So soft, almost melting in my mouth. And rich salmon flavor. But too seafoodish smell. I don't know if this is the right expression. Seafoodish. But this salmon was wrapped in the sea kelp for over one day. So for me, this is nice. But for some people who don't like strong seafood aroma, not recommended. 
Second, MSG. This is quite hardcore curing for me. I think this is world first cured fish with MSG. Hmm. Texture wise, it's kind of firm, like smoked salmon, and taste. Hmm. Hmm. Very hard to explain. Not much fish flavor left. I think the umami flavor overcome the original salmon flavor. Quite different. An aroma and of course no smell. Usually when we cure the fish, we put more ingredients like lemon, peppercorn, liquor, but this is 100% MSG. So there's potential that we can make this much better, but this has no smell. Third, Tashita, the world best seasoning for me. The color is a little bit darker than MSG one cause the powder has soy sauce and other seasoning. Texture, this is much firmer than MSG one. You can see the color as well, less transparent. Taste? Hmm. It has salty flavor, but nice. Cause as I said, lots of taste in the powder. Also, this can be really good if you make proper recipe. Maybe add some gin, lemon, lemon zest as well, and juniper berry, I think. Aroma? Not that strong, but still have fish flavor. Okay, I tried three different types of cured salmon today in sea kelp, MSG, and Tashita. Was quite interesting. Good experiment for new recipe develop. By the way, if you like my video, please click like and subscribe. And I will come back with different video next time. See you again, everyone. Bye bye.